So, we're back on the server. And as you can see, I got my I got a couple of my dreadnoughts over here for protection for the shipyards, and I moved my vindicators over here along with my corsair because I wanted to bring my fighters over because well, I want to do another strike mission. And as it turns out, someone is parked about 13 kilometers away. So, I guess the TMC finally located at least one of my areas. I wasn't expecting them to find my shipyard, like, immediately. But, whatever. It's all good. Um, got defensive perimeter set up. They want to make an assault, they can. Um, but I'm hoping to do a preemptive on them first. Once a few more of them are actually logged into the server, I'm probably going to jump the Corsair near their base and start launching TIE Fighters and see what kind of uh, trouble we can get into and see what they want to do about it. So, once the fireworks kick off, I'll be back. And we're back. So, since I left off, I actually built a little ship. It's a little scout vessel that I have. And it's the smallest thing I've ever built that has a jump drive. So yeah, this is large grid. It's thrusters in all directions, has a jump drive, and it has basic weaponry. So, got a camera on there too. And to top it off, I have a med bay. So, this is my little stealth scout recon ship. So, what I think we're going to do is we're going to go take a long range look at what's over there. The probe droids are nice, but I think I want to get my hands a little more dirty than that. So, be back in a second once I jump out there and uh, see what we can see. So, we're back, and I started scouting around. My base is about 20 kilometers over there. And something is in front of me, and I'm not sure what. So, let's take a look. That is an old frigate. Holy cow. I wonder I wonder if it's armed. Now I think this is one of the abandoned ships. So let's go take a look. We'll get back to the rebellion in a minute. I wasn't expecting to come across something like this. So not sure if it's powered on. But at the very least, it's really cool to be able to trip over something like this. So, I'm going to get in a little bit closer here, and we'll see what's what. Definitely has weapons. You can see Gatlin guns along the side. But it doesn't look powered on. get a little closer here. I'm probably within weapons range. Let's uh let's go around to the rear and kind of circle a little bit and see what we see. At the very least, I don't want to be in direct line of fire of those guns. So, we'll kind of strafe a little bit here out of the port side. Go down a little bit. Yeah, that does not look powered on. It just looks abandoned. This could be a major coup for the Imperial forces. At the very least, components. Look at all those thrusters. That is awesome. 
So let's see how to direct line of fire the weapons now. What I'm afraid of is that the thrusters are turned off, but the weapons aren't. Okay, let's get out and take a look. Yeah, thrusters are off. Turrets are not targeting. This thing's powered down. No way. Wonder how long it's been out here. Look at the thruster pack on this thing. This is a major hull. Holy cow. That's that's like a that's a doomsday weapon right there. Point that at an enemy ship, it stops being a ship and just becomes debris. Wonder where where did he get into this thing? I think I found the bridge. Yep, I found the bridge. Definitely there's definitely an interior of some sort. Okay, I'm not seeing a door, so... What tools? I don't have any tools on me. I need to go get my tools. Tools, tools, tools. Go back to the Wanderer. Grab a rifle. I don't really need a drill. Get those on my bar. Okay. So, yeah, let's. Let's pop the cork on this bottle. Ooh, and I can access it. It's not owned by anyone. Okay, it's an attack frigate. Ha 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 ha. Free toys. This is awesome. Oh, wait, let's check let's check the inventory. What do we got? Uh we got bits in the cargo bay. Large reactors got power. Um So Yeah, we got a number of bits in here. Does it have a jump drive? No, no jump drive. This is a sublight ship. Okay. So we know it could have power if we wanted it to. You know what? We're just going to get this out of the way right now. Because if nothing's owned by any other faction, it's mine now. Now. I think, I think, I think, I think, got light armor on the exterior, but we got a heavy armor interior. I don't think I'll actually use this ship, but I can definitely repurpose the parts. So, I think what we'll do is we'll strip this down, and maybe make another Victory Class Star Destroyer. How's that sound like a plan? Well, I'm going to see if I can get this thing jumped using my little ship back to my alpha site. So, we'll be back in a second once I have things more in shape. Oh, and there's the door.
Okay, catch you in a minute. So, welcome back. And the nice thing about my little ship that I remembered is it, I came equipped with a merge block. So, I quickly just built a merge block onto the ship and snapped right to it. No fuss, no muss. Now, I can jump the entire thing and I have complete control of the ship. So, remember that merge blocks are your friends. So, right now, we're going to jump to our relay alpha post. And uh, we'll see what we want to do with this. Now, I know some of you are thinking, no, no, don't, don't destroy it. No. Go go blow up people with that. It would be awesome. Look at all the rocket launchers. I mean, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. But I did decide to make sure that I was sticking with an Imperial theme. So in line with that, it it wouldn't be right if I just used this to go stomping around the server with. So, oh, someone may have spotted an antenna. Uh, so someone may have spotted my antenna. Let's turn that off, just in case. Nothing should be set very far broadcast-wise, so. We'll get this pulled up to the relay station. And, yeah, I think uh, we're going to break this down and build another Star Destroyer. Because, you know, if you have one, why not have two? So, that's what we're going to work on next. And uh, I'll catch you guys here in a little bit once uh, I start getting things broken down, set up. And figured out how I wanna how I wanna get this done. So I'll catch you in a couple. Okay, and we're back. So, yep, decision's been made. Gonna tear this down and save the parts. I got a couple nanobots here to kind of do the work for me. And it's just gonna dump all the components into this nice little cargo I threw on top. And then once this starts getting stripped down. Uh, we'll start building up out from the cargo container so that way these can go from grind to weld and hopefully when all said and done these go away along with an empty cargo container and we'll have a new ship up here so let's uh let's make sure things work here and Make sure the color I set actually uh, does things, and I had enough range. Oh, yep, there we go. And so it begins. We'll get a bit more of this colored up here. It'll take a while to break this all down. But, that's fine. Saves me from having to wait forever for parts to be built or, you know, have to make like 30 assemblers just to try to get enough steel plates. So, yep, this is going to get repurposed and going to let that kind of chop its way down some. And while it's doing that, I might go see what other people are up to since it uh, looks like they're prepping to camp my base where my shipyard is. So, so far, unlike last episode where I said no one's found it yet, well, someone found the shipyards, and, well, no one that I know of has found this site. So, that's where we're going to start work here. Because um, I don't want anyone to get the bright idea of coming in on a suicide run with a bunch of missile turrets and rockets 
and just kind of blow new construction all to hell. We saw what happened when uh, I poked their base with a stick. They figured out real quick, oh, we should probably make ammo. So I'm sure they've made plenty by now. Uh, so the next time I poke them with a stick, it won't go nearly as well for me. But that's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll get the stuff done, and uh, I'll check back with you here in a little bit once we've made some progress. So I just respawned in a med bay that was open. <laughs> and got shot. <laughs> well, that was fun while it lasted. Okay. Back to uh, strip mining the big ship. Give it a second here, it'll spawn in. <laughs> yep, I showed up at the bed bay. There it is. So, like I said, pulling it apart, bit by bit. At the very least, getting rid of it will help with uh, the sim speed on the server, because this is like, I don't know, 4,000 blocks. So, stripping it down will uh, help everyone in general. And, uh, as you can see, stuff is, uh, making its way in. And actually, let's, let's get an idea of what we got here. Oh, that's all the stuff on the inside. Uh, repair. Yeah, look at all those. Plate. Interior. Metal grids. So we're doing good. Got a bunch of rockets in there, too. So pretty happy so far. So I'm going to let this keep getting stripped down and uh, see what people are up to. So we're back and boy do I have a story to tell you. Well, that little antenna we were going to go check out before we got sidetracked by uh, um, useful components that we tripped over. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but uh, yeah, that little antenna, apparently that was the TMC faction base. That was their shipyards, that was all of their ships. So after the assault from the other day, uh, they moved their entire organization, which, you know, fine, whatever. Um, but what they didn't realize was their original location was only 100 kilometers from me in the first place when I got given that GPS by the bounty hunter. So they just blind jumped and they blind jumped towards me and that's where they landed 20 kilometers away. So apparently they f finally realized I was here and panic ensued. It, it, it went crazy, you know. Frogs raining from the sky, cats and dogs living together. It was it was just insane. Um, so they so they jumped, they jumped, they took all their stuff and left. And what happened is, they jumped over there, like four kilometers away. Four, I I, and and I I couldn't believe it. I, I was AFK at the time. This is the best part. I was AFK. So they, they jump over there and are like, oh my gosh, Ern just jumped his fleet to attack us. We we got to get out of here. So, so they jump again, freaking out, and blind jumped, thinking I was chasing them down with my entire fleet because they saw dreadnoughts and and everything else, and there was only three kilometers away, and oh my god, it was the end of the world. So they did, and and they jumped again, and they went probably somewhere over there um, at the rate they were going, because they went from there to there, and they're probably over there now. Um, but yeah, they're, they're like jumping back and forth all over my territory, 
Now, as you guys know, I, I have my main base. My main base is probably over there or somewhere. Um, and I set up these relay stations at the boundaries of what I was declaring as my territory. So if you came across a relay station, you would know you were either on the wrong side of the border or you were coming up on the border. Um, but yeah, they, they, they were blind jumping all over this area. And, and kept spotting relay stations and then and then jumping again and then for some reason they jumped all the way out there in the middle of nowhere and 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 then they had to come back and like I said cats and dogs living together it, it was it was amazing I, I don't know what to tell you um, and the whole time the whole time hold on a second the whole time. I'm not kidding. The whole time I was AFK. AFK. I come back and I find out everything is completely gone upside down. Our Discord was just blowing up. Um, it, it, it took me like a good five minutes to catch up on not only game chat, but also everything on Discord. And I'm not kidding. We're talking like, oh my gosh, Imp Dreadnought detected, right there. And then, and then they're like, oh god, run away. And then they're trying to do stuff, emergency jump. And it just, it just went on. And then they're all, all kinds of, oh my gosh. And then they're like telling me, you know, I'm, I'm like chasing them and everything else. And I'm like, guys, I was AFK. I was I was A-OK. I, I don't know what to tell you. you. You you ran away from stationary objects. Like that's a station. This is a station. My base is a station. These this doesn't even have a jump drive. Neither does that. These are static objects in the environment. They're not meant to go anywhere. So all I did was bring a few of my ships over here. So my shipyards wouldn't be, like, completely exposed to anyone wandering by wanting to shoot at it. So that way I had defenses. You know, that's, you know, being intelligent. Um, I had my carrier over here because I was going to go check out that antenna because I didn't know what it was. All I saw was just Raven, like you saw earlier in the video. So I was going to take that just in case I needed a couple TIE fighters because, you know, as you saw in my last vid... My last two TIE Fighters went out in a blaze of glory, so I was just going to, like, pop over with that, and then I decided, okay, okay you know what, I'll, I'll make my little recon ship, because I wanted to be more interactive. I don't want to just use drones all the time, because that gets boring. So I made my little recon ship that I showed you guys earlier, um, and then I got distracted. So, but yeah, the whole time, AFK. So, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, sometimes the server, nothing's going on. Other times, like, 13 people on, cats and dogs living together. It, it's just insane. Um, we got a little, little bit of a slowdown here, because so many things are happening all the time, so the sim speed's kind of like taking a hit. Um, but let me show you where I'm at with the deconstruction and some of my other plans. So I'll be back in a second. So, here we are again, back at one of my other relay stations, where I have my Gonzanti and my little recon ship I showed you earlier. And this is where we're at with uh, the big boy here. Um, grinding down, bit by bit. Speaking of which, I should probably make sure this thing has something to grind, so let me make sure bits of this are actually painted. The grind color. So that's the nice thing about these little nanobots. They're slow, but they follow instructions. Which which is good. Because some mods are just like all over the place and have ridiculous amounts of functionality and are just like completely way overboard. This is a nice little mod, the nanobot build and repair system. Nice little mod. Especially if you're playing like single player, great great mod. 
just to kind of give you that extra helping hand, uh, especially if you're taking on raiding stations and everything else, and you don't want to spend six hours grinding stuff down. Because um, who wants to do that? Um, you also don't want to spend six hours trying to build one thing um, either. So, especially if you take damage, you know, if you have a projection, this can fix your battle damage for you. So all around, very useful. Um, we have it on the server because I don't want people spending ages trying to build stuff, getting bored, and then just not playing anymore. So I wanted to give people an opportunity to uh, be able to build and construct a little quicker, um, fix battle damage a little faster. So that's what's currently pulling this apart, bit by bit. It'll get there. I'm not in a hurry. Now, over here, you might have noticed, is an interesting little side project. This, this is my A6 Juggernaut. You may recognize it from the Clone Wars. Yep, I made one. Because there's a few rumors going around, and a little birdie told me that some people are thinking that escaping to the ground is a good idea. You know, more atmospheric capable ships. Because mine are all, you know, spaceships, so I can't get to them. Well, that's where this guy comes in. Not only are my TIE Fighters, uh, because I'm using Blinkies, uh, atmospheric capable, but this is my little ground pounder. This is what's going to go in when I locate a base and start doing a ground assault. So TIE Fighters, TIE Bombers, TIE Interceptors, as air support of the A6 Juggernauts going across the ground. So all I have to say is, yeah, please, run away to the planet. The planet will save you. So please, please do that. I, I, I want you to. Please, I want you to. Like, corner yourself on a location that you have nowhere else to run away to, and you can't use a jump drive. So yes, please, go to the planet. I, I, I'm asking sincerely, please go to the planet. So, this is under construction. I got my little builder ship doing it, because he was parked over here where this was getting de deconstructed. And I could have built it over at my shipyards, wherever I left it. It's, over, eh, it's somewhere over there, maybe. I don't know. Um, but I could have built it over there, but my Gazanti was over here already. And this was parked over here just to hang out, you know, kind of like non-combative ship. And this was grinding, so instead of trying to, like, do things in four different locations and everything else, um, I decided just to kind of build this here, because that was already here. And, by the way, this is capable of taking that to the planet. So if, in case you were wondering, how is he going to get that to the planet? Why isn't he building that on the planet? Oh, that's because he has that. He has his nice little Gazanti cruiser that is hydrogen, and I got atmospherics on it. So hovering in planet atmosphere, not a problem. Since this doesn't weigh much in the first place, I got more than enough thrust to lift of that, and I have landing gear here that I can just attach to it, fly it over, drift it down to the ground, and then have a good old time. So, yeah, welcome to the Imperial Navy. We have ground forces. Don't forget that. Um, but yeah, right now, with with the fact, with TMC, like, bouncing all over the place and everything else, that means that old GPS isn't any good anymore. So, I don't know where they are right now. So trying to chase them down or track them down or anything else isn't going to work at the moment. It's going to take a little bit of time. So my plan is between episodes, between this episode and the next, see what I can chase down, see if the bounty hunter 
has any new information for me. Plus, there's a couple loyal Imperial citizens out there that are willing to let me know when things pop up in their general area. So, you can run, guys, but you can't hide. So, that's all for now, and uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll catch you guys all later. Bye now.